Uh, my specialty is police shootings. More white men get killed than men of color every year by police shootings. But if you look at the, the percentage of the population, and if you look at the piece of the whole, uh, African American, maybe 12, 13% of American population, it's still about 40, 40% of people killed. So that's way, way out of proportion to the population density of African American. When we have uh, a minority person or a person that gets killed, a lot of times what the police will do is they'll say, well, let's look at his criminal history, okay? He had crimes he's committed in the past. And then his life goes from being worth this much to this much. And then let's look, well, did he have a job? No job. Then it starts getting this. Did he have children by different women that he was not a good father? He's not a good father. So it's smaller and smaller. And then what was he doing? Uh, was he breaking the law? He was breaking the law when he got killed. But if they can brainwash somebody to believe that this person's life was not worth the same as another person, something very interesting happens then. Then the person has the moral authority to do it. Then killing is not wrong. Some people even think it's right under certain circumstances. But it's always wrong. It's always wrong. But when you see something dramatic, you think it's gonna happen overnight or this change will happen overnight. I will tell you that good always wins in the end. The truth eventually will come out because the truth is justice. Justice is truth. Truth is justice, justice is truth.